know today I just woke up And I like said this. No, instead of waiting on a good day Waiting around through ups and downs Waiting on something to happen I just said All right, we are live. Here we are. I'm here today. I'm Robert Barber, your uh, so-called uh, been named digital mayor with PinellasLive.com. It's our seven-minute daily web show where what we do is we point out what an exceptional life that it is to live in Pinellas County. And how we do that every day is we, we are in community. We see the things that are there. We go out. We eat great food. We meet people. We see what it's like to live here. We talk about how it's growing and all the great stuff. But more importantly, we highlight people. Because people, uh, people make this a great community at the end of the day. And it's not, all the, it's not all the beaches, it's not all the water, it's not all the high rises, it's, it's people that makes Pinellas great. So I'm here today with a great person. <laughs> and I'd like to introduce you to Elizabeth Bunbury. And uh, she's with a great organization called Answered Prayers Project. And I'm not going to talk about what Answered Prayers Project is because she's going to do that. But uh, I'm excited about today's episode because it is, uh, it's all about giving and giving away of yourself. And I'm super excited about this because I know it's going to impact my day. And I hope this next seven minutes impacts your day in a positive way. So um, we're going to jump right in. Well, thank you, Robert, for coming today. No, absolutely. This is probably... <laughs> I can do this, I know, and it's going to be great. Absolutely, it's going to be great. So uh, we break our show up into three segments, and the first thing we like to do is learn about the people. So tell us a little bit about you, Elizabeth, and tell us about uh, just you and your story. Well, it's really interesting because I've, this started as my birthday party, and it has been now gone eight years, and it used to be about me, and you know what? It's not about me anymore. It's about the women that we get to touch. It's about the lives within this community. Because every one of us has been wounded. Every one of us has been hurt. And I used to look perfect. I had the great house, the great car, the great kids, the mm -hmm. soccer, stay-at-home mom. But people said, if you ever went through my front door, you saw another picture. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew that. Mm -hmm. um, and I lived my whole life looking good on the outside, but dead on the inside. Mm -hmm. And at my birthday party, I started letting my story out. And what it did is it not only did it heal me, mm -hmm. took the pain and shame away, right. but it allowed others to go, oh my gosh, you know what I'm talking, you know what I'm living. And so it started as easily as that. But in eight years, what this ministry is all about, it's not about me. It's about reaching up to Jesus, mm -hmm. reaching out to others, right. and reaching back and helping others up. Because gotcha. there's always somebody ahead of us we can learn from. Yeah. And it was somebody behind us that we can bring up. Sure. So it's all about just helping others. All right. So let's do that. Let's then focus on what Answered Prayers Project is. So tell us about it. Tell us just, you know, quick, how did, we, how did you get started and where is it at and what's happening with it? Okay. As I said, it started as my birthday party eight years ago. If you had ever told me I would be talking about God, making crosses, or running a nonprofit, I'd die laughing because only creepy people do things like that. <laughs> and God's like, really, let me show you. So it started as that. Like I said, my birthday was up. I wanted to say thank you to all the women who've made a difference in my life mm. because if it had not been for those small random acts of kindness, mm -hmm. I probably would not be alive today. And the thing is, is it's those little things, the phone calls, the helping pick kids up, the dinners, the coffee, the glass of wine, the community, the time together sure. saved our souls. And the thing is, February 2000, my husband came in the room with a gun and was going to shoot me and the kids, and I didn't do anything. I was so beaten down by life, by him mm -hmm. and abused that I just, I didn't do anything. Right. Somebody pulled a gun on me now, I would kick their butt. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean. Different person. Different per totally different yeah. person. But what it, I stayed in that marriage five and a half more years, but the next day started at Al-Anon and started working at Marion's, which is a great Christian woman mm -hmm. store in town, sure. Sure. started hearing God was more than just on Sunday, that he walked with me every day. So as I got healthier, this, you know, this just started growing, but it took eight years. Sure. And then on my birthday, we started, and it's just, from there, it's all about doing exactly what Jesus did. Yeah. We share a meal, we share our stories, and we work together in clay, making clay crosses and hearts, because when your hands are busy, your hearts can talk. Because when we're looking at people face to face or on Facebook, we're, we're judging. We're going, look at their life. It's so perfect. Right. And I'm a mess. Yeah. We're all a mess. We are a mess. Yeah. And if we can just let our defenses down and we can really talk, we are each other's angels. 
So Answer First Project is more than an art studio, right? Right. I mean, it's way more than oh, an art studio. Oh, it's way more than an art studio. <laughs> so yeah. tell us about how the art comes into, you know, the touching of lives and community and helping people heal. And tell, tell, tell us about how the art works. Okay, well, it's, and I was thinking about this this morning. It's not only the healing that happens when you get to make the pieces. So if you come to our studio, you get to play and play and actually make them and form them. Then I travel all over the country and take those pieces and say, God knew you long before you were ever born. Every hair of your head and every step of your journey. But your life experiences add the color. So the second group of people work on those crosses. Then the third group finishes them. So each group, each cross, heart, you know, every piece we've made, because we've made a lot of different things, is touched by three different people. So the healing that happens in each one of those times Amplify, multiply. is amazing. Then when you get to come in and pick one and you choose it, it changes your heart. So there's a fourth person that's been healed by it. When you give it away because you meet somebody that needs it, that's healing. The money raised from coming to an event helps us so that we can help others. And the way, you know, the last, what the outcome of these times spent together, when we gather together, is there's, we've made 32,000 of these. Wow, 32,000. 32,000. <laughs> that's a lot. And we used to say they're registered in 50 states, yep. or 49 states, in 15, 16, 17 countries. And somebody asked me one time, well, what state aren't they in? And I said, well, they're not. I know that they've gone to Alaska because people have told me they sent them to their friends, but they've never been registered until Sarah Palin registered hers. Well, and we went, oh, oh it's in Alaska. It's in Alaska. So she's the only one there. But they're now in all 50 states and 28 countries around the world. Well, we're at six and a half minutes okay. of our time today, but um, I thought it was important to get this message out today. Um, I, know, I know it's a short time to hear about Answer Prayer Project because there's so much more story to it, but Answer Prayer Project is more than an art studio. It's a place where you can come and engage in community and, and uh, be around art, but also create something that is going to have a life of its own because, um, correct me if I'm wrong, each piece gets registered on the website, right? So no, is, no okay. when somebody gets it, so we have 32,000 pieces out there, but we have 3,200 stories okay. of people that have actually followed through with it. Okay. All my friends just keep theirs and haven't done a thing with them, and I'm like, come on, you guys. So that's even just a great um, ratio of people that have sure. reached back. The neat part is, is that that's one part and that healing. But we also hire women that are in transition. Okay. And it could be transition from... Uh, your kid's leaving and you've empty nest. You might need a second job. You come out of rehab. You come out of an abusive relationship. All different reasons where we need to be built up because I've been at the point in my life where I've had to ask for help. And when you're to that point, it's be you're beaten down. Right. So we say, we can pay your rent. We can pay your electric. We can send you to counseling. But why don't you come work with us? And we'll build you up mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially, and you can pay your own bills. Yeah. Because that's, isn't that what we really want to do? Every, everybody wants that. Right. I mean, that's where we can start is with ourselves first. And we've had our 10th and 11th women who's gone through our program who started full-time work last week. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, guys, we're just over our seven minutes, and, um, and I don't want to end this, but I want to be respectful of your time because we are a seven-minute daily show. So I just wanted to bring Answer Prayer Project to you. It was brought to me by a friend who now has enriched my life because now I'm connected with Elizabeth and I get to hear about what's happening here with, with uh, her efforts and her energy and the other people that are pouring into the people that come through here. So if you want any more information about it, please hit us up in the comments. Let me know that you, uh, or direct message me and then I'll get you in touch with Elizabeth. But you can also find her at answeredprayersproject.org. So check it out there. But uh, also share this with somebody, guys. I mean, you know, don't let this just live in the digital world. Share it with someone that may need to hear about what this project is, whether they're looking for something to pour their lives into, or maybe they need someone to come and help pull them up. So Answer Prayer Project and, and uh, Elizabeth are here to do that. So, but, so that's our seven minutes. I know I'm over, but um, so if you guys want to jump off, that's totally okay. But I am going to steal a few more minutes if you guys want to hang around, because I also want to talk about... In my heart, I want to know what's the vision like for the next year. What's where? Where? Where's this going? Where, where's this going? So maybe you want to share that too. I have the next step. I don't have the vision. <laughs> no. The, what we really would like to continue to do is we've opened up where we do a grief group once a month. Mm -hmm. We are doing now a prayer group. I mean, this studio needs to be filled. Mm -hmm. It needs to be filled all the time. Right. And the more that we can reach out and help others, 
the more the trickle down effect. Sure. I mean, I this just the people touched by this. It's amazing one piece how far it goes. Right. And for ten dollars, they're the best gift you can ever give. I mean, they just it's amazing yeah. that people have them in their cars and they just travel. But this is just a drop in the bucket. Sure. So our goal is this year we're hoping to make ten thousand pieces, and we're about eight right now. So next year we're going to go for twelve thousand pieces. Mm -hmm. And we just are watching. I don't, I don't have a clue. God just says, take the next step, and we do. Right. And he's opening doors and showing us the way. And we help a lot of other organizations. We're kind of coming an umbrella, and people need things. They have wish lists. We publish them. We collect. Sure. We give connect. them back. We connect. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we're better together. We are better together. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Well, that's, uh, I wanted to share a little bit about uh, what the vision may be for this. So if this is on your heart in any way, shape, or form, you know, please connect. Again, hit us up in the comments, direct message. I'll connect you with Elizabeth or, or go on the website and connect directly. And uh, again, share it with somebody, guys. I, I, there's got to be people that are seeing this today in this community that know someone that's looking for some, a project to invest in. Either it's their time or resources treasures or they're interested in, um, in just getting someone to listen to them and help them. So. And, and I guess my challenge is that every one of you at least shares it on your page, likes it, and passes it on. Because if you do it and three people of your friends do it, can you imagine the impact this can have yeah. in this community, but all over the world? Answer Prayers Project, guys. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're welcome. Very cool. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah.